The meeting we just concluded, uh, the preparation for COP22, the pre-COP, um, we leave um, Marrakesh to come back in two weeks very upbeat. We had uh, very fruitful discussions on a series of issues uh, preparing us, uh, the, the membership, uh, to, to the COP22. Uh, we are very upbeat uh, on the way things were handled by the president, by the Moroccan presidency, the incoming presidency. We are very upbeat with things that happened during the year uh, so far. And we are certain that uh, uh, COP22 here in Morocco is going to be a great success. What do I mean by things that happened during the year? We had... Uh, 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 we, when we concluded the Paris Agreement last year in Paris, in December, we uh, were considering, expecting this agreement to enter into force much later. But uh, reality proved us wrong. We, uh, uh, the membership, the 100, more than 190 countries, signed, uh, more than 180 countries, signed the agreement in April when it was open for, for signatures in, in New York at the UN. Then we, we all started with uh, uh, going through our internal domestic processes uh, on the ratification. And uh, for the agreement to enter into force, you need two things to happen. One, 55 countries, a number of countries, and then 55% of world emissions of uh, 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 CO2 equivalent. Then what is that we happened? It, what is that happened? Both thresholds were, uh, uh, were uh, uh, we, we've gone beyond those uh, two thresholds and the agreement will enter into force coinciding with the, uh, the, the Marrakesh agreement, uh, uh, COP. So we will have uh, 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 the first meeting of the, uh, of the uh, new body of, uh, of the Paris Agreement here in Marrakesh. So this is a fantastic success. Uh, the second thing, we had two other negotiations this year. One uh, uh, talking about civil aviation uh, um, uh, emissions and the second one in uh, reducing HFCs uh, recently here in Africa and Kigali. These were uh, meetings in which uh, membership, uh, the uh, world, uh, the world uh, came together, and we managed to decide on on these two issues. And now, so this uh, provides for a very positive uh, momentum that we all leave Marrakesh here in the pre-COP very stimulated, very much uh, uh, upbeat and certain that uh, we will build from that momentum forward. So I have no doubt that uh, this is going to be a great successful uh, conference. I, I, uh, Morocco is sparing no effort to, make, uh, uh, to give us all the, the necessary uh, conditions to work. I even visited the, uh, in the beginning of the week the, uh, the site of, of, of COP22 it is fantastic, you know, the, the, the size of the tents, the, 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 how, how beautiful this place is already looking, and things are not quite finished yet. They are putting the final touches in the, in the, uh, in the site, but you can see already the engagement of, of, of uh, the, the Moroccan government by uh, sparing no effort, by sparing no, nothing to make this, uh, 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 the conditions for the in the venue and the conference rooms and all the all the the, the provisional or the tents that were uh, set up over there for us to meet. So, I uh, uh, there there is a political momentum that we are all capitalizing positively. There the conditions are there. Uh, the Moroccan presidency the, they will uh, Morocco will become the president. Of, of COP uh, 20 of the COP uh, on the first day in uh, in in uh, in the meeting. So the, this incoming presidency, they worked very well with the outgoing presidency, the French presidency, and this week we 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 had had a 
a preview, a very positive preview, of how uh, Morocco presidency is working. They are they are talking to everyone. They are being totally transparent. They are to, they are uh, being very inclusive, and working uh, for a very uh, uh, the the very participation of everyone and all of the member countries. When I uh, I tell you that uh, Morocco is being is outreaching the membership, it's a presidency which is not detached from the members. I can tell you that uh, uh, Ambassador Aziz Mekwar was gracious enough to come and pay a visit to Brazil. And he was eyewitness of the very moment in which uh, the Brazilian Congress approved the Paris Agreement. He did he participate in the, in the meeting in which the, the Paris Agreement was approved. So he was a, a, an important witness, an important influence for us into having this agreement pass uh, through uh, our parliament. And, he, and, and we had at the time the possibility of discussing many issues, preparing, uh, 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 outlining what we expect from, from, uh, from, from the Marrakesh meeting, what we are, we, which are going to be the deliverables of Marrakesh, and what we need to construct. We've agreed wholeheartedly with our, our, our friends from Morocco that the motto of the, the SCOP are two, implementation and action. Paris left many issues is still to be defined in terms of regulation. So we need to, to complete the work that we cut out, started in Paris. And there are issues that we are building on this positive political momentum to act more, to act more uh, at a more expeditious manner. So I, I, I can tell you and, and uh, your audience or those that navigate on your web page don't have any doubts that the success of Morocco in COP22 is our success, our collective success.